So here we're going to see how to use the descriptive statistics function in Excel to compute averages, covariance, variance, and deviation, and so forth. So what I've done is I've already generated fictitious numbers for the prices of two stocks. Here's the price of stock number one and the prices of stock number two. And what I now want to do is compute some descriptive statistics. So I go to data, data analysis, and this time what I look for is descriptive statistics. And now it's asking me where is there is the data. So the data of course is I highlight the labels, scroll across, scroll down. You will notice that the data is in columns, it's going down columns, and there are labels or names in the first row. So you have to remind Excel that there are labels in the first row. Excel then asks you where do you want the output to go. So I click on this radio button, but notice as soon as I do so, that section up here for input range is highlighted. So you have to deliberately put your mouse down here to activate the cursor. And let's say I want the output to be in cell D1. I would like to now have this summary statistics that tells you as Excel to get, generate means, modes, medians, and so forth. And now I press OK. And there you actually have the mean, standard errors, medians, and so forth for the prices of two stocks.